Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy for Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful retro seed beads bracelet. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. When you make this shape you could use it for bracelets, earrings and necklaces and when you change colors you see how your work changes almost beyond recognition. Okay, and if you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And one more thing, if you subscribe in, in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to make similar earrings. Okay, and now I'm starting with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 seed beads. You could use 10 seed beads, of course. And here I use lobster's claw clasp and the jump ring. You could use any type of clasp you like. Here I use monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle. This is about 75 centimeters or two and a half feet. And I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start by picking up 16 beads. And I will take eight silver and eight brown beads. Okay, and I'll alternate them two by two. Okay guys, and now I have my 16 beads, 2x2 two two brown and silver, alternated, and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick here my needle in my mat, and here I want to make a knot, and I will make an, my knot by making a loop, going twice through this loop I've made and pulling, and then I will make one more knot. Pull. and now guys I have this okay and in my next step I want to go through the following two silver beads and I'm going to take three black beads okay and I will go in back in circle through these two silvers Okay, and I pull. You see I have something like a loop between my beads. And I'm going in my set, uh, in my next two brown beads. And this time I'm going to take three silver beads. Okay. And I go back through these three, through these two, sorry, adding three. Then I'm going again through two the two silver beads like that and take three brown beads okay so everywhere where I have silver beads I'm adding three browns and everywhere where I have brown beads I add three silvers Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row.
Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now I'm going to show you how to start your next row, okay? And for my next row, I'm going here through this brown bead and exit here at this side, okay? And I'm going to take three brown beads and I will skip this brown that's sticking out and I will go through the following brown and also through the next silver. So this is what I do. Exiting out of this brown, skipping one and going through the following. And as I'm exiting from this silver, if you don't see my thread here, it is. I'm taking three silver beads, skipping this one that's sticking out and going through the silver and through the brown. Okay. And I pull. Okay, and now I'm going to take three brown beads and I'm going through this brown and through the next silver. Okay. Okay, guys, I think you got the idea. And now I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now as I'm exiting from this brown bead, what I want to do is go here at the angle bead like that. And I want to take seven brown beads. Okay guys, I have my seven beads here. And I will go from this bead that's sticking out to the next angle bead that's sticking out just like that and pull and in my next step I'm going to take again seven brown beads okay I have my seven again and I'm also going through the next bead that's sticking out and what I want to tell you is don't worry that your work bends at this stage we'll fix it uh, after that okay and you know what to do next take seven seven C beads and go in the next one that's sticking out okay guys and I'm going to continue this until I'm up to here and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next Okay guys, and now I have my last seven seed beads. Okay, and what I want to do is go again here through this bead that's sticking out. Don't make the mistake to go through the next one that a lot of people do. Okay, now I have this and now again I want to tell you don't worry your work pants at this stage. Okay, now what I want to do is go through these three beads in this direction and pull. Then I'm going to skip this one here. That is the central one of my seven beads that I added. And then I will go only through two beads, not through three. Okay. And now when I pull, I will pull this bit here in this direction. And when I pull, you see I have something like an angle here. Okay. Then I take one silver bead. I skip this first brown bead here and I go through the following two beads. You see what I do? Okay, like that. And I pull. Okay. Then guys, I'm going to skip this one here. That's the middle one of my seven and go through two beads again. Okay. 
and I pull and I have another angle here okay then I'm going to take one silver bead skip this first brown bead here not the angle one but the next one and go through the following two beads okay like that and you see how this thread part straightens up my work okay then I skip this one at the angle again I go through two beads in this direction to the center and pull then I take one silver bead just one and go here through these two brown beads like that okay turning my work a little bit skipping this one after the first two I've been through going through the next two and pulling then I take one silver skip this one here and go through the following two brown beads you see where I am okay and pull okay then again skip this angle bead go through the following two pull this a little bit to the outside of your work and continue this until the end of this row and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next hey guys and here I'm adding my last silver bead from this row okay and I'm going here through the second bead counting from this inside angle okay and now what I want to do is go through this bead that's sticking out and here guys I'm going to attach my clasp because this will be the first element of my bracelet and in order to do this I'm taking four of these beautiful brown beads sliding those down then I will take my clasp like this slide it down as well and I will take four more of these beautiful brown beads and I will go here in this brown okay now this will be the beginning of my bracelet and now in my next step I will show you how I'm reinforcing this okay guys and now I'm here where it's time to make my knot and cut my thread okay and in order to do this I'm making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made then I pull and I go here in my next seed bead and what I do here is that I cut my thread like this okay guys and now I'm going to make the same element but without cutting my thread and I'll be back to show you how I'm connecting both the elements okay guys and after I did my first element I did a second one but I didn't cut my thread you see my needle is here at my work and now I'm going to show you how to connect your first two elements and continue with your bracelet okay now in order to do this I'm taking one seed bead you see I'm going out of this angle bead here and I want to go with my needle through this angle bead of my first element okay like that now I have them connected with one seed bead but I want to take one more seed bead here you see one and I will go back in circle through the same angle and I'm pulling ok 
Okay, now you see what I have. I have uh, what's called right angle weave, four beads in a cross, two newly added and two from my angles. And now I'm going to reinforce my work here by going around several times. Okay, and I'm turning my work in this direction because it's easier for me. Always turn your work the way it's easier. And now my goal, guys, is to reach my next angle bit. Okay. I'm going out of this angle here. And I want to take one seed bead like I did before. I'm going through this angle bead. Okay, like that. Now I have my angles connected with one seed bead. Then I take one more. And I go here back through this angle. Like that. And here I'm going to reinforce this. And now guys, my first two elements are connected. And what I have to do here is make a knot and cut my thread. And in order to do this, I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and second time through the loop I've made and I pull. Then what I do is that I go through the following seed bit here like that and I'm going to cut my thread. Now this is what I have and now guys I'm going to do more and more of those elements and as you may see I didn't cut my thread here and I'm going to connect them the same way I showed you and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bread. Okay guys and when I continue beading and connecting my elements this is what I have and I'm here where I just connected my last element. Okay, and what I want to do is go here. I just reinforced these last four beads here. And what I want to do is go around and reach this part where I will show you how to attach your jump ring and finish your bracelet. Okay, now guys, what I do is that I go through all of my beads and I want to exit here. Okay, and I'm exiting here and what I want to take here are eight of these beautiful brown beads. Okay, I have my eight here and I'm going to take my jump ring like that. And as I'm exiting from this angle bead here, I will go through the other angle bead. Okay, like that. Now guys, I have this and I'm going to do an additional step. I'm going around through all of my beads. Okay, like that. Now I want to go through four beads here. Exit here. Add one more, which is a ninth bead and go back through all of the beads in this direction okay 
Now I have this and what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And in order to do this, I'm going here, making a loop and going once and going second time through the loop I've made, I pull. Then I go in my next seed bead and here I want to cut my thread, okay. And now guys, my bracelet is ready. Okay guys, and now my bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And if you hit the bell, you will be notified when I make a tutorial for the earrings, which will be my next tutorial. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.